So I got finished with plastic memories. Just now. Just just now. I got finished. Now, um, I like the ending. I like the ending. Um, these are going to be my thoughts and my overall feelings towards the series in its entirety now that I've seen it, and basically my thoughts on the ending, and that after credit scene. So, if you basically do not watch Classic Memories but you want to hear me talk, go right on ahead. I do the same thing. And if you watch Classic Memories but haven't seen the end of it, don't watch this because you're going to get spoiled. I mean, why are you on this? To be honest, but you know, if you want to get spoiled, that's fine. And you know, if you watch everything and you're watching me, that's that's fine too. Everything's fine. Just view at your own discretion. So, my thoughts on the ending. Now, the last episode is Isla's last day, basically, and they're spending the last day just basically normally, and they go to the amusement park, you know, the favorite place, and. It's great and everything, but it's just like when they get on that Ferris wheel, like while when it's real close to closing down. <laughs> Sorry, I have the burp. And they're talking like about like what I like about you and what you like about me, and they're just going like back and back. And then she says, "This is where I want it to end." It's like that. This is where this is basically where I want to die, and. Basically, that's what happens, you know, and it, it's sad, man, because it's like you knew it was going to happen, but you didn't want it to happen. It's like, no, man, no. It's like, why? It's like, only she had, like, fucking, like, 15 more years or something. But, yeah, it's, it's just like she dies there and... Or it gets shut down there, and then, you know, the note that she gave to everyone is being read out loud by her, like, narrated by her, and it's just sad. It's like, and they end with, like, the picture of all of them, and her in the middle, it's just, I really enjoyed that ending, even though I was, I was crying. I mean, I gotta admit, man, I was crying, and I, I rarely cry at anime, or anything, to be honest. I mean, I only cry, I kind of decided to let it out, actually, because I kind of got tired of holding it back. I was like, oh, I can't hold it back anymore, fuck it. I'm going to start crying, and then, uh, <laughs> so I'm like such a baddie, but, uh, yeah, that, that was, that's what I think of the ending. It was great. It was sad, but it was great, and I really liked it, and now we talk about the after credits scene. Before that, uh, I kind of figured there was going to be after credits scene because it's like the way they ended it was like you know they're probably going to and I, I gotta admit I was looking I basically sat here looking at the screen you know with the ending you know looking at all the, the things subtle things subtle changes of the opening and the ending and they were, they were spot on and then the after credit scene it's like I kinda didn't feel much it's like he's just a Tsukasa I guess that's his name. I was gonna call him Takasu. <laughs> Fucking like me. But uh Sukasa, you know, he's he's moving on and shit. You know, doing doing stuff for work. Um he went to a training ground for like nine months and oh I learned a lot, yeah, great. And they're like, Oh, say hello to your new partner and you know, her legs look a lot like Isla's as like they're they're slim and you know, they got the socks just like Isla and then you know, you never, you never see your face. It's like, what the fuck? Cause, and what's funny is that he doesn't even make a reaction. He doesn't even say, "Oh, nice to meet you." He's just like, "Nice to meet you." Like, like he's never seen her before. But it's so ambiguous because you never see who it is. But it looks like from the high and everything, it looks just like Isla. So they, of course, they're gonna leave it for you to decide, but that's not what I fucking wanted, you motherfuckers! Like, come on, well, you you gotta show us that shit. Unless you're planning to make a season two, I, I really don't think you guys want to do a season two. I don't really want a season two. I mean, Plastic Memories, 
bam, done. It's fine. If you touch it and fuck it up, that, that's your bad. I'm still gonna watch it, you know. Probably not after season two. But, uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts on the ending. The, af the ending was great. After credit scene was a little atrocious. I mean, I like the fact that they were showing him moving on. I just didn't like the actual end of the after credit scene. Because it was like, dude, what the fuck? So, yeah, Plastic Memories, great. And I'm gonna post a review probably the day after I post this, which will probably be soon, I'm not sure. But, yeah, those are my thoughts.